Hi it alls, welcome back and if you are new, hello, my name is Jessie and today we are going to react to the Season 5, Episode 10 promo trailer for Riverdale, Chapter 86, The Pincushion Man. Is the Pincushion Man friends with the Mothman? <laughs> so cheesy. I got my COVID shot on Wednesday and I've been really tired for the past few days, so give me a break. But I'm one more step closer to being COVID safe. I'm so excited. Anyway, I really want to jump into this trailer. I just finished episode nine. It was intense. It was crazy. If you want the full unedited reaction of that, go check it out on my Patreon. The Patreon is $5 a month, $1.25 a week. All of my unedited reactions to Riverdale, Bridgerton, a ton of other shows, go check it out. But that was a that was an interesting episode because I thought we were actually going to get a little more out of the whole Polly situation. And it seems like they are leaving us hanging. And I am so sad. The mid-season finale is next week. That's the last one until July. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad thinking about it. So I have a feeling that this episode is going to be going out with a Bang! It is going to happen real hard, real fast, and I am here for it. I am so excited. So let's just jump in and see what they have to give us. But everyone, throw a like up or dislike if you do or do not like what you see. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this promo trailer. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring, ring, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. But without further ado, this is the Season 5, Episode 10, Riverdale promo trailer for The Pincushion Man. Bring about Ooh. Riverdale's ruination. Well, of course you do. Tick. 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 Oh, what was that? Boom. <laughs> Made me feel so oh, many things. So many different things in such a short amount of time. Let's break it down. We are in front of Pops, and we have a giant silver truck. If you didn't watch my reaction yet, which you couldn't have unless you have my Patreon because I haven't posted my episode 9 edit yet, I am going to try really hard to get it out today. I'm so sorry if I don't. My arm is so sore from the shot. <laughs> but my 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 Patreon is only five bucks. Go check it out if you want to. I say in my reaction that my final guess, I have a guess, and I don't think we're going to get any answers as to what the Mothmen are in the next episode. If we did, I'd be astonished because it's mid-season, but my... Not my final guess, but my new and pretty much a firm guess, I feel, is that the Mothmen are not actually aliens, but it's going to be explained as something to do with the truckers because when Betty's mom says to Betty, Polly called, she said she was in an area where things felt smooth and everything was silver and it, frankly, it sounded like a spaceship is what she says. Sounds like the back of a silver truck for me. I'm telling you, it's significant. I have an idea. That will of course, Hiram has an idea. We have Miss Betty Cooper slapping Glenn, and he does not look happy either. He looks kind of evil there. Like, not kind of, like, really evil, actually. I don't trust Glenn. I don't like Glenn, but I want to see more of Glenn. We haven't really gotten much information about him or anything out of him. So now that he is here, that I, I want to I wanna see what he has to say. My guess is that Betty is slapping Glenn because she is mad that he told her mother about the blood on the phone booth, which in Glenn's defense, he didn't know that she didn't tell her, but at the same time, he should have called her and told her that he was coming there and that he said that he's taking over the case and that Betty can't work it anymore. And she's like, it's my sister. I, I get it. You know, I'm, I'm, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that most like police, FBI investigators cannot work cases where they have an attachment to a victim or the person that they're investigating it's like a conflict of interest so I don't know let me know what you think in the comments why is Betty slapping him and do you think it's appropriate for her to be on this case I mean personally I would obviously want to be on my siblings case but I I mean I don't I don't think it's appropriate bring about Riverdale's ruination it's in the finale Tick what? What are you waiting? I'll get back to that later. So we have a timer and he's going tick tock, tick tock. It's at six seconds. Is he blowing something up? Is he setting fire to more things? What the heck are you up to, Hiram? Look at that sexy couple. They are so cute. They're 
so cute. Oh my God, they're so cute together. I just love it. Oh my gosh. If, if we did not have Tabitha, I don't know if I could have recovered from the Bughead breakup. It devastated me. And I've said this in past reactions. I think it also upset me a little more than normal because they really broke up in real life. Like Cole Sprouse and Lynn Reinhardt were dating and I loved them together. I thought they were so cute. Obviously, I don't know their relationship. Clearly, they it was amicable. They broke up. But it just like, I was like, oh, that made me sad. And then it happened here and I was like, oh, it made me really sad. But I freaking love Tabitha for Jughead. Tabitha is a good influence. She's a hardcore, hardworking bitch. I love her. And he needs that kind of like push, that kind of strength in his life right now. She sees him for who he is and he can kind of be himself in front of her and not even care. She still loves him for that or likes him. Maybe they'll say love soon. But I think this is just, we know that Jughead also has the potential to be a really good boyfriend. He is a really good person. He's just going through stuff right now. So I love them as a couple. They are, mm, I love it. They are a power couple. They are a freaking power couple. And they can run pops. They can run pops together for the rest of their life and make little babies. And they can eat little burgers and little milkshakes. Anyway, it's getting creepy, Jesse. Tick. Tick. I want to go back. <laughs> we gotta get back to that one. I want to go in order. Where is that? There is a rat, a lava lamp, mason jars with candles. It looks like lockers. It kind of reminds me of the bunker, but I don't. I don't think that's the bunker. Let me know in the comments what room you think that is, or if you know what room that is in. Little rat. Betty has headphones on. Maybe she's listening to the radio from, oh my God, I forgot his name again. The guy that they did the interview with that was like, I'm listening to the Mothman on my radio. They're definitely going to go back and see that guy because now they're both on the same page, Betty and Jughead, where they're like, kid, the kid was walking on the lonely highway. Polly was walking on the lonely highway. They were both dazed. They were both confused. They're going to go back and talk to that guy and be like, what conversations are you hearing from the Mothman? Because he wasn't like, I'm trying to hear conversations from them. He's like, yeah, I'm listening to their conversations. Maybe that's what she's listening to. Let me know in the comments. What do you think she's listening to? Again, I'm not ready for you yet, child. Stay back. Archie's at the school. Archie looks worried and concerned. It is dark, so it's either night or the lights and the power went out. I'm guessing that has to do with Hiram's little TikTok, TikTok, TikTok on the clock. I had to do that. Um, he did something to the school, probably. Hiram probably did something to the school, which is what Archie is dealing with right now in this scene, and that's why he's going TikTok, TikTok. I bet you he, like... I, I could see him, like, lighting the football field on fire or something like that because he's really mad at the Bulldogs, especially, because now they, they scored. And so he made that deal with Veronica where now he has to talk them into – or talk the head people into leaving the Bulldogs alone. I bet you he messes with the football field. Or the school, clearly something's going on at the school. But let me know in the comments what you think is happening in this scene. What the fuck is that? Is that? Ugh. Ugh. I'm a horror movie fanatic, and that's freaking creepy. Cause if you look at the look at the hands. Oh! Oh my gosh! Y'all are gonna think I'm insane if you don't already. All right, bear with me for a second, okay? Cause I don't know. <laughs> If you can see what I see now, I see it's like one of those pictures where like you see something and then someone's like, no, it looks like this. And then when you see that, you can't unsee the other thing. This is what I originally saw. Oh my gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. This is what I originally saw. I'm not even kidding. I thought this was a girl with pigtails. Here's the head. Here's the pigtail, like the, the scrunchie and the pigtail scrunchy and the, and the pigtail and I was like 
check out this chick's fingers. Like, her fingers are long and creepy, and, like, her hands are really big. Look how long her arm is. That's, and her legs are really muscular. Like, this is weird. It looks like a little girl with pigtails with, like, a really crazy long, oh, my God, that scared me. That was the wind. Blew the door. It looked like a little girl with pig, or not a little girl, but it looked like a girl with pigtails with, like, creepy hands and stuff, and it's the freaking Mothman. I'm sitting here thinking, like, who could be in this pipe? Like, what girl would be? Maybe it's one of the girls on the front of the Lonely Highway. It's the freaking Mothman, Jesse, you idiot. It's his weird head, and these are his wings. <laughs> these are his wings. Here's the ribs, the creepy, like, feet, and that explains the hands. Oh, my gosh. I bet you that Jughead has, like, another vision or something because, and is they're, like, hiding the girls in the sewer pipes because that kind of looks like a, like a water main pipe or a sewer pipe. That's creepy. I don't know. Tick. What is happening? Kevin has enough to deal with right now. Kevin is going through some things. I know everybody is, but... Why does Kevin have his hands up? Who has a gun? What's happening? Where are they, too? Where are they? And whose hand is that? Who has a gun? This is the hand that appears to belong to a man, I would say. This looks like a muscular arm with hair on it. I could be wrong. What is that? Is that in Pops? Okay, maybe it's Pops? Because that kind of looks like a silver base of, a, like, a table. And I would imagine, like, the red and pinkish lights are, like, the neon lights from Pops. So let me know what you think in the comments. Where do you think they are? I think they're in Pops. Whose hand is that? Who could that be? Who would be pointing a gun at Kevin? Let me know what you think in the comments. Whose hand is that? Who do you think has the gun? I don't... The only person who I could see having a gun is one, Chad, but why would he be pointing it at Kevin? Two, Archie's army friend, who we didn't see in this episode, because he was definitely going through some things and was, like, that close to killing Hiram for no reason. Not for no reason, but, like, he didn't... Like, out of all the people to kill Hiram, he's the last on the totem pole to do that. So maybe it's him? Hmm. I think Chad would, wouldn't would be gutsy enough to do that. So I'm guessing it's Army's Arch... Army's? I'm guessing it's Archie's army friend. I can't remember his name. Um, let me know what you think in the comments who you think that is. Holding the gun. Boom. Is he drinking out of a golden goblet? Boom. I don't know, it just looked gold. He would, though. I want to watch it one more time over full. I have an idea that will bring about Riverdale's ruination. And he's talking to Reggie tick. again. Reggie, that little crap. Tick. 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 Boom. Kevin looks petrified. Okay, I want to get all my questions out before I forget. What is Betty listening to? Why do you think Betty slapped Chad? Where do you think Archie is? Where do you think Kevin is? Who do you think is holding the gun? Isn't Tabitha and Jughead the most amazing couple in the whole entire history of the show? Answer all of my questions in the comments down below. That was a great promo. See, this This is what I was talking about last week where the promo that they showed with this recent episode, the episode was good, but the promo just showed Betty. It was like only Betty only her talking about Polly and didn't give us anything else from any of the other characters. So this was good. We got to see all of our characters except for like Veronica and um, and Cheryl and TT. I miss TT. Where's TT? But I, I liked how we got like a little diverse of everybody kind of like a diverse spread of everything. I am so excited to jump into it, but I'm so sad because it's going to be the mid season finale. What are you gonna do without my Riverdale? 
Hopefully, I will find my Jughead S shirt by then. I mentioned in the beginning of my reaction for episode 9 that I got an S shirt from Random Ink Graphics, the ones who made the El Royale sweatshirt for me, and I have no freaking idea where it is. I have been sleeping and been lazy a lot because of my COVID shot, and I've also been in the process of like half moving to Robbie's new apartment, but I don't think I packed it. Don't you hate like when you know you have something? I know I freaking have this. I know I have this. I know it's somewhere. I'm going to come across it and be like, damn it, that's where it is. But it is what it is. Everyone throw a like up or a dislike if you do or do not like what you see. Comment down below the answers to all of my questions asked during this promo breakdown. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is $5 a month. That's $1.25 a week. It has all of my unedited reactions. Again, I'm going to try very hard to edit up the last episode of Riverdale and get it out, but my arm is so sore. And, like, honestly, right now, I wanted to jump right into Falcon and the Winter Soldier to watch that, but I'm so tired. I think I might just go lay down in bed. It's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to go lay down for a little bit, but my goal today is to watch episode two of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode 19 of Once Upon a Time, episode 21 of The Walking Dead, and then I really wanted to watch the new Mighty Ducks show, but I kind of want to watch the movies before I watch the show, so I think I'm going to eventually throughout the weekend watch the Mighty Ducks movies. I'm going to start that tomorrow probably, and those will be thrown up on my Patreon, so if you want to see any of those unedited reactions, go check out my Patreon. There's a ton more stuff on there, including Bridgerton, Sweet Home, all different kinds of stuff. It is so easy to throw things on Patreon, and it takes me so long to get them on YouTube because, I, I mean, all of the editing for everything that I just named would will take me, like, a whole, like, week or two. <laughs> so go check it out, but that is it. That is all for now. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.